Hey, hey, Eagles, welcome to this week's Walnut Weekly. Yonder pouches were distributed on September 30th in homeroom classes, where students watched a yonder presentation and learned and practiced opening and closing their yonder bags. For the rest of the day, students were required to keep their phones in their yonder pouches, resulting in big reactions immediately. Hurricane Helene trekked through the southeast region of the United States on Thursday, September 26, with wind speeds reaching 140 miles per hour. Unfortunately, over 200 people have been reported dead and many are more injured. While various families' lives were turned upside down in many southeastern states, the hurricane also affected the Ohio tri-state area, with wind speeds peaking at 70 miles per hour. At such speed, winds were strong enough to cause damage to houses and even snap small trees by the trunk. Lots of students went above and beyond for Spirit Week, which concluded on Friday, September 27th. It was an extremely eventful week featuring the homecoming games, which consisted of various relay races during lunch. Due to the weather, these festivities had to be moved into the gym. The junior and senior high pep rallies were moved into the gyms as well, and each fe featured an athlete parade, cheer performance, and athlete versus teacher game. The football game was rescheduled from Friday night to Saturday morning, which resulted in a loss of 6 to 34. The homecoming dance took place September 28 in the cafeteria after being moved from the field, and many students, although initially skeptical of the last minute change, had a great time. Are you bored after school or on a weekend looking for something fun to do? Check out Gold Spoon Creamery, a local ice cream shop owned by Walnut's very own Emily Henderson. Mrs. Henderson, who is an art teacher, also owns and runs this cute creamery, which features an array of homemade ice cream flavors, coffees, and desserts. Located right in the heart of Summit Park, Gold Spoon is the perfect place to cool down after a stroll or to go grab a treat before heading over to watch the sunset. Recently, reporter Avni Wog sat down with Mrs. Henderson learning about the ice cream making process and the story behind Gold Spoon. If you want to hear more about this project or other Chatterbox stories, make sure you check out that feature on our website at whhscbox.com or on our YouTube page, whhscbox.